Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will look at the data layer for Google Tag Manager. Data layer in Google Tag Manager is a data structure used to store, process and pass the data between your blog and the Google Tag Manager interface. It can feed the data related to your visitor to Google Tag Manager interface. In this video, we will first look at available data layer events. Then we will look at how to inspect the data layer. And then finally, we will collect variables from the data layer. So let's see all of this in action. In this video, we will discuss the data layer. The term data layer is used to denote the data structure used by Google Tag Manager for storing, processing and passing data between your blog and Google Tag Manager. To explain it further, data layer can feed the data into your analytics tool about your visitor. Let us initiate the debug mode and then go to our blog. If we go to our blog and if you have followed the previous video tutorials, you will see the search bar. Let us refresh the blog page. Now when you click on this search button, this can be considered as a data layer event. So may it be a simple external link click or it can be a search button click. There are certain events that are getting pushed into the Google Tag Manager data layer, which are termed as data layer events. Also, Google Tag Manager pushes a certain set of values to the data layer. These values we can see when you click on the data layer button in the debug mode. As you can see, when the window is loaded, that is fully loaded, gtm.load is pushed into the data layer. When the document object model DOM is ready, gtm.dom is pushed to the data layer. And finally, when the page is viewed, gtm.js is pushed into the data layer. This gives the explanation of data layer events. Now, let us understand how to inspect the data layer. To do that, make sure that you are in debug mode, the orange bar is displayed and refresh your blog page. A debugger for Google Tag Manager will be shown at the bottom side of the screen. Now from the events, click on window loaded. Then click on data layer tab. This will show gtm.load event pushed into the Google Tag Manager data layer. To take a deeper look, we will launch Google Chrome's debugger. To do that, right click in any part of the screen and then click inspect. You can also use Ctrl Shift I as the shortcut key. This will launch the elements section, but click on the console tab. Make sure that there are no any previous messages so that it will not be confusing. If there are any messages, click on this icon to clear this console window. Now enter data layer in this space provided. Care has to be taken that data layer should be spelled exactly like shown. It should have L capital. Also, it will show all the suggestions as you type in this particular space. Once you have typed data layer, then press enter from keyboard. Click on this arrow to see further details. The three indicates three objects and each object contains some information. These details are nothing but the data layer of Google Tag Manager. Data layer is fully configurable as per the web developer. As you can see under object one, there is an event gtm.dom. It is fired when Google Tag Manager was loading the page. These were the steps to inspect the data layer. As you go into the details of implementing different other controls, you can use data layer to configure as you need. Now we will look at data layer variable. 
we will read event using a data layer variable. To do that, go to variables, scroll down to the bottom for user defined variables, click the red new button. Provide some name to this variable. We will call it var event. Click choose a variable type to begin setup and here select data layer variable. Now you will be required to provide a name and version. We are going to catch an event in this data layer variable. So type in event under data layer variable name. Click the blue save button and then enter into the Google Tag Manager debug mode by clicking on the gray preview button. Once the debug mode is on, go back to your blog and refresh the page. As soon as you can see debug mode is on, click on the event window loaded, then go to data layer tab, then go to variables. When you scroll down, you will see our newly created var event variable and the event loaded is gtm.load. Hence, we have collected a data layer event window loaded in a variable var event. In this way, we can inspect the data layer and capture the values in a data layer variable as and when required. Thank you for watching this video.